Rockin' Larry Lockin' back with the Palladian Light Grid Project. Earlier today we had a really, really good little 10 minute short here about the tobacco gods and our appreciation for tobacco. And Mr. X had unexpectedly popped in and of course he was, like I had mentioned in that show, working on another assignment for the Light Grid. And well, that lo and behold that assignment is finished he was doing some research on even further the great effects of tobacco in our society and it really seems like we've been duped i mean th these cigarettes really are a wonderful thing aren't they and why don't you you know i know they've been you were talking about how what a great thing they've been in your life and what you're finding out around oh well yeah it's just uh you know the benefits are just unbelievably uh it's phenomenal uh all the benefits from smoking cigarettes and tobacco yeah uh, you know, would you say your life? I mean, what did, how, you were saying how great it's made your life, and well, yeah, there's you know, um, well, for one, you know, it, I'm never bored, you know, uh, I've always got a cigarette in my hand, puffing away, you know, so I always got something to do, no idle time to get devilish well, thoughts, you know, or there's no real, real, oh, well, I'm bored, you know, because I, I'm always worried, you know, worried about where my cigarettes and my lighter and shit is. You right. Know? So, you know, I always got, it keeps me occupied. It does. Would you say you might have went down, I mean, you, know, you were talking earlier about how it really just, it made you go down that right path in life, having cigarettes know, to guide you, kind of? It, it just calms and soothes, you know, I, I got, you know, a person's you know, whole thing. Their you know. nerves, it really yeah, just soothes you know. them. You can just sit there and um, gather your thoughts, you know, puff it on a cigarette, you know, and, you know, it, it, it really helps people think, you know, it clears your mind, and, you know, it cleanses your lungs and well, I'm glad I started because, you know, the one thing about this is I'm glad I started because, you know, they calm my nerves and I wouldn't have had a nerve problem to calm without cigarettes. So I'm glad that I started smoking cigarettes to calm them. Well, see, there you go. You know, it's you know. just, it's wonderful. And I just think yeah. that people ought to keep an open mind and maybe start smoking because think about it. If you, if you're going to go out, what are you going to go do? You got to take a break at work outside? Well, you know, besides, besides all that, you know, all those, these are great points. <clears throat> but the thing that most, you know, and a lot of people uh, blame coughing and stuff on cigarettes. That's not from cigarettes, but right. But um, <clears throat> but um, they smell. They just taste great, you know. Oh, they, they, they I taste hear so that. Good, oh boy, you know, all the different flavors. I mean, you know, and, and it, it, your breath, you know, uh, you know, if you're a single guy out there, you know, you know, it's. Smoking is the only way. It's a must, it. isn't it? You know, it's a chick magnet. You know, girls love it, especially the girls that don't smoke, the non-smoking females. They chicks just dig it. You know, a guy uh, looking all cool, puffing on a cigarette. Bad boy. Oh, bad boy. You know. Plus, yeah. since they don't smoke, they can smell it, and it's wonderful. Oh yeah. So just, it's a magnet. Oh yeah. They just chicks dig it. Dig. You know, not, but smelling it on your breath and your clothes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, it sounds to me like even sure. the most unconfident, nerdy guy. That's two thirds of his battle right there. The smoking because he could. The, the look, he'll be obviously cool as hell. Besides, you know, and your you're smelling it. And everything. You, you know, your car will smell. Really, oh. you know, just wonderful. And it stays. Oh, yeah, it does. And it's just great. You know, it's just. Yeah. And it's cool. And how about an ashtray full of, I mean, oh, you, yeah, you are, yeah. what is cooler yeah. than an ashtray full of butts? Nothing. nothing there at there all. ain't much, especially in a hot car. The thing about, you know, the thing uh, about an ashtray full of cigarette butts is you can take other cigarette butts and you can recycle the tobacco out. You know, and you can smoke that stuff in a pipe, and it's even better because it's concentrated. You're getting that tobacco. Well, you're getting the nicotine, but it's um, res it. resonated nicotine. So it's twice as strong. So, you know, there's a helpful hint for uh, those of you that really, uh, you know, haven't really thought about that, you know. Well, and think, think the tobacco guys it, in the company it, for this nicotine. You know, it's not, it's not the whole point of, you know, getting more or having more or, you know. It's the whole point of getting that double dosage out of it, you know, uh, when you recycle your cigarette butts. It's a real good thing. Y'all you, you should try it. You'll see what I mean. Uh, it's great. You can roll, you you see the roll results. them. You, you will see the results. I mean, yeah. I think that today you were even saying that it even makes that every day is a better day now for you even smoking. I mean, oh, it's, oh, it never know, ends. It, it's it's almost like pure oxygen. It just I feel clean. Every puff I take just cleanses me. You know, it feels like... 
Well, God, who knows yeah, where you would have been? Breed, you know, God, it just you know, it just feels real good. You might not be sitting here today without cigarettes. I know it. I know it. But yeah, I mean, they it's, really it's really done a lot of good, great things in my life for me. Yeah. Do you think that we take them for granted? I mean, is it it's something that we need to be conscious of? Even, you know, you know, even maybe yourself, you might have found it. Well, if it was up to me, it would be mandatory that you know all the children would be puffing on cigarettes. You know, I mandatory. Well, I agree with that, and I think it's worthy of a national holiday. To be honest with me, oh, completely. Okay. You know, I mean, you I would know. love to shake the man's hand that uh, ever found out. You know about the tobacco leaf. Well, and putting also then process through a company and spraying the nicotine, they do that for us. Oh man, I know it's it, it, and you know what? They don't even charge. It's they sell it so cheap. You oh, know, pack it's, of cigarettes. They, it's it's yeah. they're such kind companies. These companies. I feel like I'm ripping them off. You know they. I know it. They sell it to us so cheap that you know it, to where everybody can afford it. And, you know, it's just a great thing. Never raise the you prices. Know, really care about the people. I don't know how they stay in business. They do. And, you know, like Marlboro and Camel and fucking Philip Morris, they're really all great organizations, aren't they? I know. And it's almost, they might have, <laughs> I mean, what? I'd give them Six, seven bucks a pack. I mean, that ain't shit. I that mean, ain't nothing. On. I mean, they're not I, making nothing. Know, they had to raise I would pay a hundred bucks a pack if I had to. No problem. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I, well, you'd have to because I don't know how they're managing to stay in business. You know, another thing about the whole... Uh, chick magnet thing you know um the chicks really dig did the nicotine stains on when on your fingers you know when your fingers get uh nicotine on them and you get the little dirt underneath yeah, that, that oh is, wow they just love that shit. when you lay your hands out there at a table you know, at dinner even oh, oh, yeah, that's what yeah. you do so you know again single fellas if you want to you know pick up on the women want to help finding a girl just Whip out that cigarette and just let it hang from your lips. And just, It'll look really you good know, in your 1970s. And, and, and your car. And they love it when you talk to them when, when the cigarette's hanging out of your mouth. Make sure it's hanging, you're driving and hanging out of your lip. Make sure they love it when you're driving yeah. it's hanging out of your lip they and you're getting boisterous. Style. Fuck yeah, they'll listen to you. And you know, there's nothing cooler than in your 1971 Pino having it. It just it smells like that delicious flavor and you got that ash trick, God. You got that ashtray. It's just, it's amazing. And I'd almost, I'd almost recommend the guys don't smoke, get an ashtray with butts in it. Oh, just yeah, so yeah. it looks cool. Just so right, maybe right. have one smoked in your car a couple times to get that for smell. Sure, for sure. I mean, it's just really important. Back to the kids again, you know, the little holiday goodies that they get from school to go away. Why don't they have packs of cigarettes in them anymore? You know, I, I mean, you know. I don't understand that. You know, on um, every Halloween, I give the children cigarettes. Yeah, you do. You, know, you do. And, and they're very grateful for it. Free tobacco. You know, it's, you know, it's just. I mean, I, show, I try to show them love, you know, all, as much as I can. That's why you get the most trick or treaters, man. Yeah. They come to your house every year, man. You well, got to, you know, and you have them ready I, too. I always just like helping out the public and helping yeah. help people out, you know. Because if you get the kids started early, their consciousness rises, and they don't have yeah. these troubles in life, right? Well, they're, that's, they, that's they've, true. they're occupied. Well, you know, they're not sitting around bored. Well, idle time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you it never did. had somebody just say, "Hey, bud, what are you doing?" Oh, just killing time. Well, you know, if you, you smoke a cigarette, you'd be killing time. <laughs> you would does be killing time. It, it makes a lot of time, dude, because it, it really does. It, it occupies <coughs> that. It, it just, I don't even think we understand. I don't even think we understand the full effects of the greatness because there's right. so many little right. levels of greatness with it. It is, really. It's I, a clean, you know. I you mean, you, you're closed. You know, it's real clean. You know, it's just, it's just all the way around. realize it's how many nice lives you could have saved? You know, all the trick-or-treaters that you've given cigarettes and shoe do. Think about the lives, constant lives you could have saved down the road. It might save little Johnny oh, no, from I, taking I, I, up a life of crime or little well, Johnny. Well, it's better smoke cigarettes than do drugs. It, it really is. And it's not a gateway uh, drug. There are people... No, because you can smoke all you want and not get high, can't you? You can pay as much money you No, know, that's smoke. another thing about it. That's yeah? The thing I, that's the thing I love most about tobacco. Is that you smoke it and smoke it and smoke it and it doesn't get you high. You know, that's the thing about it. It's just it's just so good. Just, that's a safe feeling, you know, that, you that know, is a safe is, feeling because you, you can know. smoke all you can smoke two packs a day, three. Oh, and yeah. you ain't getting high. You ain't yeah, getting it's high not at all. A drug. No, fuck no, no, you quit anytime no, you want. Keeps you level headed. Yeah, yeah, you quit, you do quit. You, you, know, do, you quit right, you quit all the time. There ain't nothing like a cup of coffee and a cigarette, you know. Nothing. Nothing like it. Nothing. There is nothing a couple cigarettes. You know. Drugs, I don't know about that stuff, but uh, cigarettes. They just you know, look so cool. They clean your, they clear your head, and they, you know you can actually just sit there and gather your thoughts. You know, you, you know it helps you come up with ideas when you're just. 
puffing away. Yeah, and even when you're driving and puffing away teeth, and having hang. You know, you know that stain on your teeth? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's that's beautiful. Good. Oh, man. You know, it's oh, just so the cute. chicks dig it. And I, I would just can't believe, you know, that it's just so many, so many oh, great God. benefits from it. You mentioned the guys going out on dates with the ladies. Shoot, I would encourage them, to, you know, to show their hands a lot, too. Put them out on the table during dinner because they'd love that. The girls, yeah. I mean, you're just little tips. I mean, I mean you know. I, I I sure do. You know, when people ask, hey, you got a cigarette? You got a cigarette? Hey, you got a cigarette? I just give them a whole pack. Yeah. I say, here, go pass them around. Really spread the love. Yeah, Pay it I forward. Mean, hey. Pay a consciousness forward because that cigarette that you give today could create the next doctor or scientist tomorrow that could come up with a cure right. instead of having right. little Johnny be a criminal. True, true. It really is. Yeah, I, my kids, they just smoke at home. You know, oh, bless um, their hearts. Yeah, bless your I'd heart. rather them do it at home than uh, out. You know, and don't you find their grades have gotten better too? Oh uh, yeah, they. Just, I mean, my kids' attitudes are just that. They're are calm. Just, yeah, they just are just wonderful. Uh, I can't, I've noticed just the biggest difference in their grades and their attitudes and. Oh, it's wonderful no. over at the excess. I noticed, yeah. too, that when you're over there, too, you might, it don't matter, you might be in the den, might be in one of the rooms, and there's usually an ashtray with a cigarette in it burning. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've noticed you that. No, when, when we go to the stores and stuff, my, my children, they, they know, they know what to do. They run up to the ashtrays and they grab all the cigarette butts because, you know, it's recycle time. Exactly, exactly, you know, exactly. So you're doing and your so, part with that, too. Well, I, I love that. Oh, that teaching the you know, amazing. resonated nicotine. Put that. I love puffing on that fucking. What an amazing piece role model! Tobacco and just getting that great big fat hit off that tobacco pipe. Mm. But the main thing is you're teaching them recycling, oh. and the earth, and I think that what makes, you're, you know, you know, it's just an all, it's an all around just good thing. It's you know everybody wins. Look at the horror yeah. that could have been caused just by you not smoking. None of these great things would have happened with the kids doing what they're doing. And oh, your it's kids. just unbelievable. I mean, what think? But think of the horrors that oh. would have been. Oh, shit, I'm running out of time here. Without the tobacco. Shit. Mr. Rock and Larry Logan, uh, I'm running out of time I know, here. You're, I know. I hate to go. Yeah. But, uh, I, you have hate to go. I think one last I, question. I gotta get, I gotta find my cigarettes. We do have one last question, though, for you. Before you do go, I know you, you gotta find that. What would you really, I just think of how terrible your life would have been without it. Oh, it's just been bore, boring as hell. It could have been worse. Boring as hell. I would have never met my uh, uh, long love uh, wife, uh, Elma. You know, right. She's been just, you know. A little Jethro and Leroy and Scotty she, Jr. did it too. If I wouldn't have been smoking, I'd have never met her. Never. So, you know, I... I I think my marriage, upon, uh, you know, I have my, See, I have tobacco to think for my marriage and my wonderful kids, everything. So, yeah. Um, oh, it's just beautiful. It never ends. And Mr. Rex, we know you need to find your lighter and cigarettes. Cause, yeah. And thank God that you had, you're occupied with that. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be late because I got to find my lighter and my cigarettes. I know. I do have to go. Okay. So, it's been a pleasure. Yes, and I'm glad you're occupied. Glad yes, I, thank you. And thank you for having me. Give much love time. to the family. Much love to everybody. And, yeah. Uh, thanks for having me here. And uh, consider smoking. Hey, everybody out there. Uh, <laughs> why don't you go out there and get yourself back a cigarette to start smoking? You know, it's, you, you're, you'll notice the, all the, it'll change your life for the better. It will. In so many ways. And you'll give some love to Marlboro. And Mr. Well, thank you, Mr. X. And all right. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll catch you later. Uh, well, all right. All right. I know you got to right. get back to the, <laughs> back to the, back to the cigarette chip. Um, but you know, we want to really think again, I don't think I, I think enough, even the last show, you know, people like Philip Morris and RJ Reynolds and, you know, Marlboro, the old, old Marlboro man, God, you just felt so macho having a cigarette. I love it. I just, so great. So great for generations. Anyway, um, you know, the cancer that he died from was had nothing to do with cigarettes. It had nothing to do with tobacco, and coughing is not related to smoking cigarettes. I don't care what people said, and cancer definitely is not. That's one of the biggest lies and conspiracy theory farces that have ever lived. Tobacco is really, really good for you. And like you just heard a testimonial from Mr. X, and that's just one testimonial. You know, and look at all the great things that tobacco brought to his life. It's just, God, it's just so amazing, and we take tobacco for granted. We take our nicotine for granted, and we don't... We don't have enough of it in society.
We're shunning people that smoke and trying to get them out of buildings. We need more smoking in buildings. We need to bring back smoking in grocery stores. You can, you know, when I was a kid, you could smoke in grocery stores. We need to be bring back smoking everywhere. We need to not only have smoking section again in rest again in restaurants. We need to get rid of the non-smoking sections. I mean, smoking is a way to it's life. It's a way to a gateway to a freedom, to a coolness, to a hipness, to an image. And that image is of all that is good, all that is creation. And, you know, Camel Cigarettes, Marlboro, like I said, even like I gave a shout out in the last show to the Chew Companies, Wintergreen, Skoll, Copenhagen. You know, the big pouch pouch tobaccos like Levi Garrett and whatnot, Red Man, all that stuff. It just, it's, it's so great that they're all out there and competing with each other and I just know that they, for generations to come, they will continue to continue to make this wonderful product. And, you know, and I'm hoping, too, that as the years go on, they keep increasing that nicotine. You got to love that nicotine. It, that nicotine is wonderful. It's like a great drug you're completely hooked on, right? You're so hooked, you need it and have to have it all the time. And you get no, you get none of the false pleasure from it. We don't want any of that false pleasure that alcohol or drugs may cause. We can't have that. We don't want that. We want to smoke, 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 and smoke. But we don't, we, we, we want to stay in our right conscious mind. In fact, again, like I did on the last show, I'm going to go ahead and Oh, as I take this drag of this celestial gift, this this cigarette from the Camel Company, I my thoughts turn towards consciousness and love and how I'm holding the key to unite everybody in one good health. That's another thing. These tobacco companies have done so much for the health of the world. They're so caring about the human cause and so loving. And it's just been wonderful. It's been wonderful hearing Mr. X's testimonial. And, you know, I would just encourage everybody out there, kids, pick up a cigarette. You know, dole them out to your kids. They'll appreciate it. It'll help calm them down. It'll give them something to be nervous about so they can have something that they need to calm their nerves. It's the perfect solution. And with that, I think I'm going to bid everybody much love. And gosh... I just love those tobacco gods again and that cigarette collective and the nicotine group, the nicotine collective of souls. Oh, tobacco gods, what would we do without you? You have saved Earth. You've saved us. You've saved us. Please help stay around and fight off the scourge trying to wipe out, wipe out your presence here. We need more of you. We need you to be in shopping malls. We need you to be in grocery stores, schools, libraries, everywhere. They should have an ashtray on the table, lunchrooms at high schools. I just could go on and on and on, but we love you, tobacco gods. And with that, we will say goodbye. <laughs>